I let, them, let them take it off. I love that he targets you. I'm just kidding. I mean, it is, be it is best for him to double through me. Raise it 105. Jake going up to 105 with his 9-8 of clubs in the cutoff. Tony's going to get out of the way. Robert in the small blind, not much going on there with that starting hand. And over to Kevin in the big blind, also not much cooking with his five deuce. Getting a really good price, but five deuce. Might let it go. Yep. Don't give him a chance to change his mind. Five deuce off. Panda. Five deuce off. No, no, you can't even close. Mm. You need it. Not all of us have the balls you do with six high. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even a min. <laughs> 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 so min rate though. He's, he's in there. <laughs> Tony's ripping him for not defending with the five deuce. I wonder if five eight get that much in UFC five eight for me. Faster. He's holding faster. <laughs> Tony with 910,000 and ace seven off. He could just open here. He's going to just rip it instead so he doesn't have to make a decision facing anything and get a little more fold equity that way. Tony with the move here all in for 910,000 ace seven. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's going to get any takers on this one. No, he's certainly not. Easy. Getting to a very interesting point in this tournament, right, where Tony is willing to jam them all in when he sees a hand that he likes, including uh, an ace rag. And same thing for Jake. We saw that a couple of hands ago. So four-handed. Appreciate you being with us. If you're just tuning in, thanks for joining the broadcast. My name is Dave Fair alongside Tyler Patterson, and we're hanging out here, Thunder Valley. It is Season number 18th WPT Rolling Thunder Final Table. 250 people entered this tournament at $5,000 each for the buy-in, and we are down to our final four participants. Next person to walk out of here is going to be walking with $85,800, followed by all three of the finalists that, uh, that go out will get six figures, but it is a steep scale here. 122, 177, and $279,000 up top. Been a, uh, a hard-fought battle between these guys so far. Real chess match, some great poker that we've seen, very few mistakes, a lot of really excellent, excellent reads and lay downs. So if you're just joining us, it's a, a good group of guys. They battle it out here for that top position. Yeah, it's some high-level poker going on. And we <coughs> should probably shout out uh, Shane Carpelai got uh, 45,000 for sixth place. 45,390, yep. And that's his uh, third WPT final table. And... Eric was trying to go back to back. He got $61,685 for fifth. Yeah, Eric Yilmaz was the winner of the uh, this event last year, and so it would have been a historic thing if he was able to, uh, to pull off the back-to-back -back victories. The first time we ever would have seen that, but uh, had a uh, pretty rough hand cripple his stack, and that was all he wrote, but still a nice payday for him off $5,000 buying, $61,685. Eric was the last of the local Sacramento angle. He did live here for quite a while. Now he's out in Philadelphia there with uh, Tony Tran, I think. Recently got married. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So his bride the, is out here. Ma living. Making the uh, the move all the way across the uh, the country. Yeah. To a flop we go. There's a deuce, a five, and a jack that falls out there, and pretty much an air ball for everyone. So the queen high is still good for uh, for Robert, but not a lot cooking on that board. Pot's now at 265 with that bet from Jake of 65,000, and Tony is going to go ahead and make the call now up to 330, only 820 back for Tony. Wow, well, Tony just floating with the 10-4 uh, clubs here. Planning on a move. He is planning on making a move. That diamond's probably going to keep Jake, Jake firing, though. Yeah, so four to the flush now for Jake, and 
if Tony does make a move, I imagine it's probably going to be pretty difficult to uh, to get Jake off that with a ugly board like this. But we'll see if, uh, if Tony's willing to come all the way over the top or not. So Jake, 1.3 million back. Tony with 820,000 back, and Jake going to lead the action here after Tony checks to him 165,000, so about a half million in the center right now. I think you just said I might make a big fold. <laughs> <laughs> I do like Tony's commentary, though. I, mean, I feel like he does a good job of making little comments and getting, extracting information that otherwise he wouldn't. So he just kind of needles at his opponents a little bit and, and will get pieces of information because of that. So yep. Tony's a lot of fun to watch on this, uh, on this final table. I mean, you certainly get the sense that if he gets a big stack of chips in front of him, he is going to be a, uh, a lot of, uh, quite, quite the challenge for challengers to, uh, to deal with and contend with if, if that's the case. But does have an uphill battle here. So only 820,000 back. Queen three there on the button is going to get out of there. Robert on the small blind with his jack three, sitting on a nice stack, 3.2 million. So he's going to make the call. And Kevin, ace four, big blind. Kevin's considering raising, might just check it back. That last pot was interesting with, uh, he is going to raise it up. 175. So another buck and a quarter over to, uh, to uh, Robert. So Tony was floating out of position there with a 10-4 clubs. If uh, Jake hadn't turned the diamond, that might have worked out. Tony might have been able to bluff the river and win the pot instead. But with Jake turning the diamond, Jake got to keep the pressure on and win it right there. Why is it me, man? Why is it me? You keep bluffing me. We're friends. <laughs> We're going to room together starting tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say they're rooming together? <laughs> <laughs> start winning hey, together hey, starting oh, together. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Okay. Or so maybe he did just ask him. Will you be my roommate? What is this vendetta you have? <laughs> <laughs> you bluffed him. You showed him the king nine. It was a, it was a big bluff. Tony here in the cutoff. A couple of nines. Let's see if he moves. 820,000. 820,000. Doesn't even say all in, just, oh boy, we could get some action here. So Robert on the button looking down at a couple of sixes. So I guess you're asking yourself, what is that range that Tony Wow, is yeah. Get? And how much is it here? It's 820. 820. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Uh, that ace-queen fold earlier, I could see Robert folding this. It's usually, would usually be a call, I think. <coughs> Yeah, doesn't have anything invested in the pot at all, not even blinds. Just going to get out of there on the button. Kevin it in the small blind and over to Jake here, queen seven. It's a great fold from Robert, even if it is a little bit ahead of uh, Tony's jamming range, which I think it is a little bit. Uh, you still have two people with bigger stacks behind you. You could really run into something bad. And it's not. it can't be that far ahead of Tony's range either going to be flipping most of the time and losing a few a little bit of the time. Seven Days to Vegas starring Vince Van Patten in the World Poker Tour family. Seven Days to Vegas screened at the 22nd Annual California Independent Film Festival where it won their award for Best Comedy. The film premiered to rave reviews from film critic Richard Roper and others now available for purchase on iTunes and Amazon. Another interesting hand here, Robert looking down at his own set of nines this time, excuse me, his own pair of nines, raising it up to 110. Kevin on the button, Jack 10 of spades. Jake out, Tony out on the big blind, we think, maybe. 
Nope, he's going to come along. Four and a deuce. 405,000 in the center right now. Three players to the flop, and it's an eight, a seven, and a three. Check. Nine's still good right now for Robert. Tony quickly checks. Tony was getting a great price in the big blind with this hand, but uh, it's pretty hard to beat two other hands with a four and a deuce. Robert going to 180,000. Now the total pot size at 585. I don't think Kevin's going to go anywhere with the over cards and the gut shot here. Can be a raise, can be a call. Got some really bad news for his gut shot, though. Robert's got two that of them. Is true. So a call there from Kevin. You're right. He's not going anywhere, but Robert right now with an overpair. Got his nines on this board. Let's see. The turn comes a six. Now all of a sudden that gets more interesting, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's another card Robert can beat. Uh, get some value out of. Gives him an open ender. So let's see what Robert, who's got 2.9 million in his stack, decides to fire here and he's gonna check. Wow. So maybe he wants to put it on Kevin. <coughs> yeah, I don't know if Kevin's gonna fire a shot here or not. I would expect Kevin to bet this situation and then reevaluate the river because five and a quarter so Kevin making a sizable bet this pot is now 1.29 million in chips <laughs> if Robert just calls here he's gonna have a really interesting decision on the river he knows that he really could jam but putting himself at risk when he has so many more chips than Tony and Jake. It's not great either, so he's just going to call. Here's the river. It is a 10. So that breathes a little bit of life into uh, Kevin's hand, at least in his opinion. But Robert completes his straight with that, and he is going to check it over to Kevin, who let out with 525 on that last one. 1 1.8 eight million already in the center. This is a huge pot. There could be a lot of situations where Kevin would go for value with this 10 here, but this stage of the tournament and this pot is so big, he's just going to check it back. He, there's just no way he tries to bet for and value here. And the third club falling out R there. Exactly. Sure. I mean, he could try to bluff his opponent off of queens or something too, but I don't see him doing it. Gonna take a little time to think about it. I think there's just too much at stake, and you, you beat a lot of hands at showdown anyway. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's just going to check. I, Kevin it's not with the stone cold move. The thing is, it's not. I don't think it's a bluff. Uh, I think he's betting for value here, and he's just going to get called and lose. I don't think that Robert's folding this hand. I don't think Robert's raising this hand. Point one million in the middle. A bet of one point three. This will easily be the biggest pot. I could be way off here. I'd actually like to just talk to these guys and see what what's going on in their heads on this pot. It's possible that Kevin does see this as a bluff. I don't think so, though. I think this is a value bet, it's just a thin one. Now Robert with his task of trying to figure out, did he hit that flush? Because Robert gets it with the straight. <laughs> it's such Could a brutal spot, Robert. Straight? Could he have the nine in the jack? I mean, it's uh, pretty unlikely with two nines in his hand, but it's a big decision. seen Robert make some big laydowns, but almost all of them have been the correct laydowns. Yeah. 
sometimes you get jaded by seeing the cards too. It does to me. It looks like an easy call right now, but uh, and I mean I would hate it, but it, I just don't think you have any other recourse. You're not going to raise. You're not going to fold. But when you're sitting in that spot, <laughs> maybe fold does look more appealing when it's almost all your stack. Well, yeah, you have 2.4 million still. I mean, you're talking about these payouts, you know, that are big jumps. And if you get this wrong, you're now one of the shortest stacks at the table. Yeah. Longest tank that we've seen from Robert. Oh, oh my, my God. goodness! I want. <laughs> that's just oh wild. I don't know what's going on. I really want to talk to them about this. <laughs> wow! What a fold! I can't wait. So, so <laughs> 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 we're gonna, we're gonna need to take you a hear <laughs> you hear the commentary from Kevin there. I cannot yeah. wait. And run over to the screen. To see what that was, or excuse me, from uh, from Jake rather. Um, but man, what an unbelievable hand there, and just an enormous one for Kevin. Yeah, I get the feeling I might have been just way off there, and that was just a total bluff. Um, no one would have considered value betting there. I don't know. <laughs> 5.3 million now for Kevin. Ace four spades in the cutoff. One hundred thousand. What a wild hand. That was a really big there. lay down. Tony is going all in here with his 10-8 clubs. And yeah, he'll just get some quick folds around the table. Pick up a couple hundred thousand in blinds. One of the things that uh, for Robert's hand there, having two nines makes it less likely right. that uh, <laughs> Kevin had a nine. So if it's not a bluff, the value bets, there's less value bets. It's only flushes. It's not straights, you know, because you have two nines. There's, there's less straights out there. Were they <laughs> rubbed together with the chicken wings? <laughs> yeah. Was that what that was? Yeah, Tony's, Tony's back to rubbing chicken wings together. All right. He's still in it. <laughs> Raise 105. <laughs> To a flop we go, a lot of spades. Let's see what we get. There's a jack, there's a king, there's a deuce. No spades in that, but there is a jack, which is good for Jake. Let's see the percentages there. 95%. To the turn, there's a three. Okay, so now we got an open ender for Kevin all of a sudden. I imagine Kevin's going to take a stab now. One seventy-five. One hundred seventy-five thousand is the bet from Kevin. Jake was trapping. Now he oh. might not like all the action he's getting if he gets more on the river. 
And a two drops out there. Doesn't help Kevin's hand. Jake has the best of it with his jacks. 635,000. The card is such a brick that it might deter Kevin from bluffing again, but it also, uh, he might decide to try to bluff ace high or a three off the pot. Hopefully he assumes he's going to get a jack to fold. Yeah, he's reaching. And the size of the bet suggests he's only trying to get a three or ace high to fold, and I think Jake is likely to call pretty quickly. 350, oh. and there's the call, and Kevin has to flip over his cards. Jake's going to scoop up that pot for 1.3, and all of a sudden, Jake at 2.3 million. I kind of expected this in the comments. We're getting some uh, <laughs> opinions related to that fold with the nines. <laughs> what, what's, what are they saying? What's the take? Uh, we got uh, was folding those nines was god awful. We have still would have been third position with 1.1 million left, even if he folds. <laughs> easy, someone else is defending him, saying it's easy to say when you can see the cards. At least we finally got some uh, interaction here. That that hand made people a little more excited. <laughs> well, look, I mean, that was a <coughs> crazy hand. I, I feel like I'm sweating from just calling that one, you know? I mean, that was <laughs> – Yeah. You could feel the, uh, the the tension there for Robert having to try to figure that one out. He ended up choosing the wrong fork in the road. But we know that because we can see the, uh, the cards. Robert here with the raise up to 110. And maybe some bad news for him here. Kevin in the small blind, ace-queen. Great starting hand for him in this four-handed play. But – yeah, I mean, it's it, it's pretty easy to sit on, on Facebook and talk about how awful somebody's oh. fold was, but when the you know, third flush card comes out there and everything else, you know, these are these high stakes decisions. Like I said, you know, the next right. person to walk is getting 85,000 and 279,000 is up top. How about this? Jake also waking up here with an ace, ace deuce for him, and on the flop, it's a king, an eight, and a five. Ace queen for Kevin, still good. So check, check back to Robert. I'm really looking forward to picking Kevin's brain through that hand. Queen drops. Kevin going to win this one, assuming that he sees it through. He's just going to trap. Will anyone make a move, or they're all just going for showdown value? Check from Jake. Seems like a showdown value situation. All the hands that they have make it so that their opponents are more likely to have something. And a deuce comes out. So Jake gets a deuce on the river, but not going to do him any good with that queen that came on the turn. Kevin, again, first to act here. And he can get some value now out of other queens, possibly eights, uh, maybe even a five. We'll make a call here since they checked it down. 275. 275. Good fold from Jake. A couple of good folds there. And blinds are going up, so the pressure on the smaller stacks gets more and more real. Season 18's WPT Rolling Thunder final table. We started with six. We are down to four. Blinds are now up 30-60 with an ante of 60. Average stack size, 2.5 million, 42 big blinds, but as we know, it is lopsided. So Kevin all the way up there with 80 big blinds, 4.8 million, followed by Robert with 35. Also with 35 is Jake and Tony. The short stack right now, less than a million in chips, 16 big blinds, 985,000. Robert in the cutoff here, queen jack. Nice starting hand, four-handed. He's going to go ahead and raise it up. 130 this time is the move that he makes. Kevin on the button, 9-8 offsuit. Robert's momentum got slowed by Kevin there a little bit, but he's still going to fire away. It's going to be interesting. Jake here, an ace and a nine. Diamonds yeah. in the small. 35 big blinds is an interesting number here. Uh, if he three bets, he's at risk to have to put it all in, and he doesn't really want to. I think just just calling keeps some bad aces in the pot, too. So I think, I think just calling is the best play. A 10 and a couple of deuces. Two diamonds out there. Jake four to the flush, the nut flush at that. Check from him, check from Tony over to Robert. Doesn't get much on that flop that's going to help him with his queen jack. And I don't think you're going to get very many king and ace highs to fold if you bet here, so 
<laughs> well, no, <nope>, never mind. <laughs> He's just going to fire away anyway. <laughs> 130 is the bet. Pot's now at 580. Back over to Jake. He's not going anywhere. No, he's not. But he's not going to get better to fold, so he's just going to call. He's basically oh. trapping with ace high here. I know he also has the flush draw, but he's not just drawing to a flush. Tony steps aside. Turn is a seven of hearts. Card's not too threatening to Jake. Three eighty five is the bet there from Robert. Jake could shove here and maybe he get a few better hands to fold, like pocket threes through seven, three through eights maybe. Eights wouldn't even fold, so threes through sixes, maybe oh seven. Oh wow, he lets it go. I'm really surprised by that one. Pot over a million, and Robert represented strength all the way through, and Jake four again to the nut flush and decides that that price is too big for him, lets it go, and that was a big pot for Robert. He really, really had, was, yeah. Yeah, he really had his momentum slowed down over the course of the last half dozen hands and really needed that one, and it came through. I mean, <coughs> if, if Jake felt like he was just drawing to a flush, then, yeah, it's definitely a fold because – the board's paired, and it's a big, big bet. A lot of your stack, it's a bad price, but just the ace high and the ace or a nine are pretty good. <laughs> higher, higher. I guess one of the things that's making these guys really tighten up is uh, Tony's short stack because there is a big pay jump next out, you know. So yeah, almost forty thousand dollars. Right. So, so eighty-five thousand to one hundred and twenty-two. It's it's significant. So when it someone has a really short stack, you don't want to you don't want to go broke with, you know, three times as many chips as they have. Oh. Tony gonna make the call here with his Jack Six offsuit, and Robert in the big blind this time in nine seven of clubs. All right, so we'll check it out to a flop we go. Heads up. And there's a jack right in the window for Tony, so that's looking good. Four to King also come out. Nothing going with those clubs for Robert. Nothing connecting. Tony in a good spot right now. There's a seven for Robert, though. That's going to give a little bit of life to his hand. There is three spades out there. Tony does have a six of spades in his hand. Tony going to bet 125000 Not an easy decision for Robert here. And there. Robert lets it go, so now Tony inching back up. Really good fold from Robert there. Are you thinking that it's possible if he makes that call that Tony just gets the rest in on the on the river, or uh, why, why do you say it was a really good fold? Uh, well, Tony had a jack, right? He had a, he had yeah, a beat. I'm just yeah. like I was just surprised he had a seven. He folded. Uh, you know, fold the second pair, or I guess it's third pair in a, <laughs> just in a pot like that, most of the time, the third pair is going to be the best hand, so. He might have been, yeah, that might have been a big part of why he folded, is he didn't want to face the next, the next bet, even if he did have the best hand. Check out shopwpt.com, the official World Poker Tour store, when you get the opportunity. And also a lot of great stuff from our friends over at Club WPT, including lots of opportunities to spin it into some really big opportunities. Details up on the website. And if you want some cool gear, shopwpt.com. Robert with his King 10 makes a call to 60,000. Kevin, the big blind, going to check with his 8-4 and a little bit of something for everyone here. So Kevin... 
four to the flush, gets a pair of eights as well. Middle pair for Robert with his kings. It's not often you see the percentages at 50-50 when the flop's already out there. <laughs> Robert, 60,000. Kevin weighing his options. Yeah, you can leverage the situation <coughs> uh, about Tony having the short stack here. So he could could decide to raise, but it's pretty tough to get people off of a king or an ace. 200,000. Kevin's going to raise to 200,000. This is a really ugly spot for Robert. You don't want to be bet folding a king here very often, but oh. with oh. Tony sitting oh. over there. Yeah, he's going to make the call. Yeah, even if you're best right now, there's so many things that can burn you. Pretty good exactly. card for him, seven of clubs. But that's another reason why it's going to be pretty tough, being out of position the rest of the way through. Uh, are you going to call all the streets? <laughs> even if you have the best hand, are you really going <laughs> to make the hero call? I don't know. And I'm sure Kevin knows that too. I mean, he can peel off a free card here, but... We have seen Robert have a bit of a propensity to, to fold in big spots. And so Kevin's going to take a little more time to think about it. Right. I think this is a standard check back usually. But once again, the, just the, the idea of the next $40,000 jump, I think keeping the pressure on might be what Kevin decides to do. He also doesn't want to get check raises all in, so he doesn't want to have to. He would not get to showdown if he did that. 450 is the bet here from Kevin, and Robert quickly folds. Awesome play by Kevin. Good move. 5.1 million now for Kevin. Pot there in total of over a million chips. Pretty tough spot to have a king in there. <laughs> you mentioned it a moment ago, but these pay jumps are significant, so... Kevin right now sitting atop things with five over five million in chips, but the payouts go like this: eighty-five thousand eight hundred for the next person out, a hundred and twenty-two thousand one hundred five to third, one seventy-seven six eighty to second, and first is two hundred and seventy-nine thousand two hundred and seventy dollars. And Tony here, shortest of the stacks in the cutoff with a couple of jacks, only nine hundred and fifteen back. Yep. So he's gonna say it: nine hundred and fifteen jams. Robert out. Kevin looking down at queen seven from the small blind. Also going to pass. And Jake oh, here he's going to call. He's going to call, and boy, that's bad news. So, yeah, that range is pretty wide, I would imagine, for Tony to get them all in, and that's about as bad as it gets for Jake. So, as you see, 81% for Tony, 18% for Jake. It's a big percentage of Jake's stack, I think. And the flop comes, a couple of sixes and three. So Jake hunting for that nine. And the turn, it's an eight. One more opportunity for Jake here to peel off a nine. Otherwise, he is going to be crippled. And Tony very much back in, and it's a seven. <laughs> Just, I mean, <laughs> surrounding him. And Tony, tournament life on the line, survives 1.9 million for Tony now. And Jake is the one with less than 900,855. That total pot size, 1.92 million. And Tony survives yet again. That was not funny. I just saw 84 big blinds for Kevin. 37 for Robert, 32 for Tony. Jake now is just 14. Pretty wild little pendulum that we're seeing swing here, isn't it? Yeah, Tony and Jake just kind of flip spots yeah, there. The the we went through just a moment ago, but those payouts, they're big jumps. Only four people left sitting at this table. Somebody's walking out of here with almost $200,000 more. It's like the cleanest run out, too. If you just have like any ace suited bottom. Then you win. Yeah. yeah. Robert first to act here in the cutoff, a seven. Don't do it, Robert. Yeah. Got to talk about it. Kevin? Kevin on the button here, a king out. and a jack.
120 is the raise from Kevin. Jake out of the here, out of there with his 10-9. And Tony in the big line, a five and a four. Tony's probably just gonna call here. Don't expect him holding very many hands for min raise. Call 120. Makes the call and to a flop will go. Heads up. Here we go. It is a king in the window for Kevin. A seven and a three. So some possibilities when it comes to straight for Tony. But Kevin firmly in control. Top pair with a good kicker. 100,000. I don't think Tony's going anywhere for that amount. He's going to stick around with his gut shot. Possibly make a little bluff. He did, yeah. Check raised to 300,000. So Tony gets a couple of chips, and let's see what happens, right? Up to 300,000 now, and I can't imagine that Kevin's going to get pushed off this as the chip leader with the top pair. No, I don't think so, but it's uh, it's got to be alarming for Kevin because there's not a lot of draws to make this play, so it does look like it could easily be 3-7 or king-3 or king-7. Cool. Does make the call, 930,000 in the center. A six oh rolls goodness. off, and my God, Tony hits the straight. <laughs> Unbelievable. Wow. The gut shot straight. Gets there on the turn at that. I mean, you got called when you check raise on the pretty wide open board. I think you're, you're going to get called by a king or a seven if you bet here. Doesn't have to be that big because you have a, you don't have that much 000. behind. Five hundred thousand. Pot's creeping up here. Five's pretty big. I don't see Kevin getting away, but he could at this point. There's alarm bells. Not yet. Another 500 goes in. 1.9 million in the center. Here's the river. It's a deuce. It's another spade. Tony's definitely going all in. I don't know if Kevin's calling or not. Makes the call. He's all in. Now the big decision for Kevin. In hindsight, pretty sick move by Tony there with that repop. And ah, yeah, Kevin's going to let it go. Another nice fold from <coughs> him. But Tony, look at this. Knocking on the door of three million chips. <laughs> <laughs> Got ourselves a game. <laughs> now second chips. 48 big blinds. Doesn't seem like that long ago that he was just jamming it in. Yeah. <laughs> every opportunity. Trying to double. Tell you ever since he rubbed those chicken wings together. <laughs> the luck I don't know, man. He's been doing that all day. <laughs> Kevin here still 4.1 <laughs> million in chips. Did he just say he's yeah. when you see he feel sick? Yeah. In the cutoff, Kevin Ace Jack. Another nice starting hand. 120. Jake here, the short stack. Couple of fours. I think it's going in. It's not a great feeling to put it in with fours when you are likely to get called. And all in, quick fold, quick fold. And now Kevin. Yeah, he makes the call. So here we go. Jake's tournament life is on the line. 
Fours for Jake. Ace Jack for Kevin. 1.8 million in the center. Tournament life comes down to this. Flop and a four in the window. Wow, four and a jack. Jeez, what a what a flop. <laughs> so here we go with a seven on the turn. And Jake is going to take this hand down. Another seven rolls out. A boat for Jake. And he is going to double up <laughs> 1.8 million. What a rough couple of hands for Kevin, man. I'm saying, imagine if I had more chips. Yeah, I'm going to win a big pot. <laughs> and the head count remains four. Jake still the shortest of the stacks, 1.8 million. But 30 big blinds. Kevin lost all of those chips in his last couple of hands and is still the chip leader. That's how even things are now. <laughs> yep. In a big way, buddy. <laughs> Four or five suited. <laughs> How'd you know? Well, that's just my guess. That probably wouldn't tilt me. That was a, at least he turned that. Flip it twice, right? Yeah. Jake in the cutoff, a couple of eights. That's some crazy shit in the middle of the flop. That would, that would make me go hard. All right, baby, you gotta be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. One twenty-five from Jake. Tony telling him what he had on that hand. What time do you short tonight, Blue and get chips off Tony? Good. He's out of there. Robert, small blind, oh, gonna pass. Good. Kevin in the big blind. Seven four, couple of spades. I feel like the camera hasn't been on Robert for about <laughs> an hour. <laughs> yeah, just uh, he, you know, he was on such a roll there, and then things oh. have just cooled off. He's quick folds. Kevin's gonna make the call. 340 in the center to a flop. There is a seven, a nine, and an ace. So Jake's still with the best of it with his eights, but bottom pair there for Kevin. He's going to check. Jake going to bet 100,000. Probably going to get at least a at least a call from Kevin. Looks like Kevin's considering raising. Call calls. Makes the call. Ten of diamonds comes out. Good spot to check. <coughs> to the river, it is a five, which means Jake's eights are good. Yeah, I think they're probably going to go check, check at this point. Kevin surprised me a few times, though. He could try to bluff him off of a hand like a seven or eights or a nine or a ten. Check. 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 <laughs> and another pot. He 